Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Sheen, your host. This is Money Matters. In this channel, we talk about money, finance, how to grow your money, how to invest your money, how to make money work hard for you. Uh, guys, there's a lot of drama going on. I'm sure you guys know there's, a, there's the blues, there's the reds, uh, but we're not talking about any blue, any red. We're going to talk about the green uh, today. Uh, so the green initiative, uh, the MJ space, if you know what I'm talking about, uh, was on the ballot in, I think, four or five states. Uh, so we're not going to talk about uh, the blue party, the red party. We're just going to talk about the green, the green money and the green product. So uh, I'm going to show you my position in the particular stock that I have in this space and never ever talked about this uh, in my previous videos uh, because, you know, this is just not my specialty, uh, not just comfortable talking about uh, about these stocks. No, I mean, uh, I'm comfortable with the product, uh, but the stock and the sector I'm not comfortable with because I just haven't really d done much research uh, into this sector. Uh, so that's why I never talk about this sector. Uh, but I do have a position and I'm going to show you my position. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. I'm going to show you my cost basis, uh, what stock it is, how many shares I have, etc. Always open with my positions. Uh, you know, every single stock I talk about, if I have a position in it, I will show you my position. You know, I, I, I always do that in my videos. So uh, never sponsored. <laughs> you saw my previous video. Uh, I, I'm never sponsored. I only have 7,000 something subscribers. So I'm, I'm small potatoes. Nobody wants to give me any money to talk about stocks. Uh, if I'm ever sponsored, I will let you guys know my video this video is sponsored uh but it's always going to be my opinion and, and you know this video is completely my opinion as well I'm not a financial advisor don't don't take my uh don't take what i'm saying as uh investment advice um uh, especially in this sector uh because i really know I, I don't know much about this sector. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm just starting to get into this sector and, and learning, uh, you know, the, the, the companies uh, and the product. Uh, so definitely don't take anything that I say as investment advice. Uh, so please, if you if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet already. Uh, make sure you check out the links in the description below uh, so for some free stocks from free money with Cash App. Sign up for Cash App. Use my link. You get free money. Uh, free stocks with Webull, Robinhood. Just check it out. It really helps out the channel, supports what I'm doing, uh, and just helps me kind of, you know continue to do what I do. So uh, also, Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing a giveaway, a pair of Tesla short shorts. Uh, hopefully they'll be coming in any day now. I'll come on, do a live stream and we'll talk Tesla and we'll do be, we'll be doing a giveaway for a pair of, pair of Tesla short shorts. If you don't want the short shorts, uh, if you win and you're a subscriber, I'm going to check my subscriber list. You have to be a subscriber. Uh, I will give you a pair, uh, either a pair of Tesla short shorts or I'll be uh, giving a $69 Amazon gift card. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, so I'll make myself smaller we're going to talk about the green uh so a lot of blue a lot of red drama going on with the election but uh we're here to talk about the green so voters choose to legalize and tax recreational mj in these four states uh, so it passed in all these four states so you know it's time uh, to really uh, get into this sector in my opinion i'm really trying to uh, get a lot of information look into these companies uh and and again uh not an expert at, in this sector at all uh, so you know you guys probably know more than me as a matter of fact uh, but i am just starting to look into this sector but anyways residents in arizona montana new jersey and south dakota voted in favor to legalize recreational m and j so uh, you know you'll notice uh, south dakota montana and you know arizona is kind of like a uh, battleground state but this really has nothing to do with political party uh, in deep red states like south dakota and montana uh, you know this also passed so uh, you know, this is not going to be something like it used to be. Oh, it's only in California, only in in uh, Washington and Seattle. No, it's it's coming to pretty much every single state. Doesn't matter uh, what political party that state is affiliated with. Uh, you can see this is sweeping across the country, uh, and we need to, uh, our, our, I need to start taking advantage of this and, and starting start to get a position uh, built out before this rolls out across the country, which I think is going to happen. I don't know, in the next three to four years, five to six years, you know, I, it just, I can remember about seven years ago, I think it was maybe only two, three estates at the most uh, that this was recreational was, uh, was available. Uh, and now it's like over 11 states uh, and then even more when it's medicinal. So uh, medicinal MJ also passed in Mississippi and South Dakota. So South Dakota passed uh, recreational and medicinal uh, all in one fail swoop. So uh, taxes, you know, every single state is making uh, tons of money on taxes. And it's like if your next door neighbor, uh, whatever state it is, is making 
hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes uh, and in your state you don't have this legalized i mean what are you doing <laughs> as the governor what are you doing uh, your citizens are, are using the product i mean just don't be ridiculous they're using the product uh you're just not getting any tax revenue for it so i think it's stupid uh, i think it's coming so uh let's see let me move myself make, get myself out of the way here uh so four uh, voters in four states on tuesday green lighted measures to legalize and tax recreational mj for adults arizona montana and new jersey south dakota have joined 11 states that have already legalized uh, recreational mj uh, those other states are alaska california colorado illinois maine massachusetts michigan nevada oregon vermont uh, washington state so you, you, as you can see you know this is uh, again has nothing to do with political party like deep red states uh like uh, uh like alaska uh maine i think also pretty red state uh what else i think those are pretty much the only two red states but now we're adding south dakota uh, and montana so uh the red states are joining in on this party uh, meanwhile dc uh, permits adults over 21 to possess uh, up to two ounces so even in dc uh, it's somewhat legal uh, so here is the map. Uh, you know, this is a little outdated. I, had, I updated this map. Uh, so look, Montana, uh, South Dakota, Arizona, and New Jersey. Uh, and also in, in uh, Mississippi, uh, I, th I think it was legalized. They're trying to work out some things. So also even in, in Mississippi, it is legalized. Uh, so, you know, I would say probably more than half the state when you also count the, the medicinal use. So look at this tax 16 percent uh this is in arizona uh 16 percent uh tax onto the retail uh price and a sales tax of 5.6 percent revenue of 166 million uh annually uh in what is a south dakota yeah south dakota 15 percent excise tax look at all this tax new jersey so keep in mind when we're saying new jersey uh we're also including new york city so that's going to be a massive market i mean it's just uh just over the river and you're in new jersey so uh, you know the people in new york are just gonna hop on the subway or just drive across uh the bridge and you know get get their fix so uh new jersey is going to be a massive massive market uh because like i said uh, new york city is going to be getting in on that as well uh, and that's a 6.62 percent uh sales tax uh this is Mon uh, montana 20 percent sales tax so you know the tax revenue on this is just too good uh, for states not to continue to legalize this. So we're going to talk about a few stocks. Uh, I have five of them uh, that I've been kind of researching, looking into it. And, uh, you know, you guys could look into it, see if it's a good investment. Uh, first one is uh, it is a REIT. It is called, let me move myself again, sorry. Uh, it's called uh, Innovative Industrial Properties. Uh, so this one is pretty interesting because uh, this really doesn't focus uh, on the product itself, uh, but it is a real estate investment. It's a REIT. Uh, so this real estate investment REIT focuses on the regulation of U.S. Uh, MJ industry and purchasing specialized industrial real estate assets for the regulated medical uh, use industry. I hope I don't get demonetized for not blocking that out. Uh, the financial model combined with the fact that the sales uh, of state regulated MJ in the U.S. will grow from 12.4 billion in 2019 to nearly 34 billion in 2025 uh, sets the stage for continued growth and income for investors for several years. The company reported net income of 13 million and revenue of 24.3 million in the second quarter, uh, a 183 percent increase from the prior uh, prior year's second quarter. So they are already a profitable uh, business model, uh, a net income of 13 million. So this one is really interesting uh, because it's a REIT. Uh, so uh, I, I don't see, oh yeah, sorry. So they do pay a dividend. These REITs always pay a dividend. Uh, so uh, IIPR paid a quarterly dividend of $1.06, uh, a 77% increase over the second quarter of 2019 dividend. So uh, this one is really interesting. I'm, I'm really interested in this one because uh, again, it's a REIT. So you get that uh, decent dividend uh, and you know it's focusing on real estate. So uh, a, a different, a kind of a little bit of a different play from uh, the product itself, uh, but focusing on the real estate. So I kind of really like that one. Next one is uh, Cureleaf. Uh, this one is pretty popular in the YouTube space. Uh, Cureleaf, a Wakefield, Massachusetts-based vertically integrated operator, opened dispensaries in Florida at a rapid rate uh, and has crushed it in generating revenue in uh, medical MJ. The company operates in 23 states with 93 dispensaries, 22 cult cultivation sites, and more than 30 processing sites. Uh, analyst Russell Stanley found that the company is trading at 48% discount uh, compared to the uh, average U.S. operator. Uh, Stanley has 
initiated a buy rating and a price target of $55. So uh, we're going to see the, the, the price on, on all these stocks in a minute. Uh, but this, this stock is, I think it's trading at like $9, under $10 right now. Uh, so if you believe this analyst, uh, their, their price target is $55 for this particular stock. Another one is True, uh, True Leave. T C N N F is the ticker. Investors should plan on holding True Leave for a longer period of time since the company has more than 50% market share in Florida and it's expanding rapidly. Uh, True Leave reported revenue of 216.9 million during the, during the first two quarters of 2020 and opened 15 new locations for a total of 60. Uh, so these are all massive, massive growth company. All right, and my next one, uh, this is a Jeremy pick. Uh, you know, if you're on YouTube and you're looking <laughs> into this, this space, uh, this sector, uh, it's without a doubt that Jeremy from Financial Education uh, is the pioneer of this stock uh, it is planet 13 uh, he has made tons of videos about this stock uh, so uh, you know full disclosure the first time i heard about this stock it was from jeremy uh, and i looked into this stock i listened to their investor presentation uh, and this is the stock that i am personally invested in uh, and you know if jeremy is in the stock uh, this stock gets a lot of attention he has over 500,000 subscribers on uh, his first channel i think over 200,000 subscribers on his second channel uh, so uh, he talking about the stock uh, really does move the stock uh, and you know not only that uh, the company is doing really well i'm gonna take a look at the investor presentation this is from planet 13 so look uh, about 63 million uh, usd revenue in 2019 about 1 million visitors in 2019. Uh, so you see from that, they pretty much started in 2018. Uh, so it's only been uh, less than two years. So uh, they did, they'd had, you know, just kind of stagnant growth in uh, 2019, about 16.8 million uh, throughout the whole year. Uh, but when the illness happened, uh, they really, you know, they took a little bit of dip, but then they really exploded. Uh, they did, the management really, really, uh, made changes to the business model uh, really focused on their uh, their current uh, market for the locals uh, they offered delivery uh, they'll offer easy pickup uh, so they really were on the ball and tr in a transition uh, from closing their facilities uh, to targeting the local market uh, and that was what ha what what allowed them to make this 22.8 million dollar uh, revenue in q3 of 2020 and you see the growth projected uh, compound annual growth rate of 16.9 percent uh, maintaining 8 to 10 percent market share in Nevada. Uh, so their objective uh, is to basically expand all over the country. So they have their main facility uh, in Las Vegas and they're you know expanding into San into California, uh, Santa Ana that's supposed to be op supposed to be opening next year uh, and you see the growth that they're they're trying to expand pretty much all over the country. Uh, this is their five year US objective uh, to open eight plus superstores in tier one markets across the country, uh, you know Miami, uh, Atlanta, Seattle. So uh, ma ma major growth for this company uh, and you know one that I am personally invested in. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. Uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to show you my personal position in, uh, in this particular stock, Planet 13. Uh, so the last one uh, is Grow Generation. Uh, so this one is also an interesting one, uh, kind of like the REIT. This one doesn't technically focus on the product itself, uh, but they focus on uh, all the things that you need to grow the product. So they're the largest chain of hydroponic garden centers in the U.S. has 28 locations in 10 states. They have the largest selection of hydroponic products uh, and network of grow pro specialists. Uh, so this is what they do. They sell, you know, lighting, uh, the grow media, uh, nutrition, uh, you know, basically everything you need uh, to have a successful grow operation. Uh, so this one is also an interesting way uh, to take advantage of this growth uh, to, you know, kind of play in the space, but not directly play uh, in the product. Uh, so they are headquartered in Denver, Colorado. Uh, in fiscal year 2019, they had $79.7 million in revenue. Uh, that's 175% year-over-year growth. Uh, Six-month uh, six 2020 revenue uh, was $76.4 million. That's 123% year-over-year growth. Uh, their guidance for 2021 is 245 to 260 million about 26 million to 28 million uh, in adjusted EBITDA so again another massive massive grow uh, grow company growth company all right and so that was the fifth and last stock uh, in this space that I'm you know looking into uh, so as I promised uh, this is my position on uh, planet 13 so see planet 13 
Uh, so I have cost basis of $2.71 per share, a uh, total of $2,200 in this right now. I'm up currently 26.36%, have 811 shares currently. So guys, that's my position uh, in this particular uh, stock, in this particular sector. Uh, let me know uh, if you're looking into any of those stocks that I already talked about. Uh, if you found some value in this video, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up, really helps out the channel. Appreciate you guys watching my video. Hope you have a nice week. We'll see what happens in the election, whether it's blue or red. Uh, but like I said, uh, for the most part, I think uh, the country is going to go green. So catch you in the next one. Have an awesome night. Peace.